Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Caitlin. But don't just sit there, pickle. Come on, let's get busy. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Oh, wait till your mum sees that. Do you like nice gloves? Cloak for Granny Murray. Ta da! <laughs> well, we've got Caitlin. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rudy. Yes, with Jack. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Come on, my dad. having a bit of a silly day today, Rudy. <laughs> well, they'll know it's Harlequin Hospital silly day. So we've all been dressing up in silly clothes, haven't we, Caitlin? <laughs> now Jack's here, we'll do something there you new. Go. Why don't you dress Claude up as a silly nurse with a red nose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go well on. done. And we can do a silly walk over to our chairs. OK. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh you know what, Granny Murray? I don't look forward to these silly days. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud, Rudy. Oh, it's just a well, I've got so much work to do. But it's all going to a good cause. All the money raised is going to the hospital. It's not that, it's just a well, you know, when you're busy, you just want to get on with things and well, you've got no time for mucking about. No matter what you're doing, there's always time for fun. <laughs> oh, even Claude's joining in. Yeah. Come on, glum chops. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, how's he looking then? Oh, a lot sillier than Jack and Caitlin. Oh, Daddy. what's that? Yes. Here you are. What's that? It's a party tutor. <gasps> wow, my very own party tutor. <laughs> a party tutor for a party pooper. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm only having fun. Well, thanks very much, Jack. Give us a cuddle. And I'll see you later on. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. See you, Caitlin. <laughs> Now remember, there's always time for fun. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work <laughs> oh, Looking swell and ready to sell <laughs> a party tutor for a party pooper, indeed. <laughs> oh, I could play with that all day. But I can't. I've got a lot of work to do. Today's a busy day, not a silly day. <laughs> Hi, Rudy! <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Doc. Hi, Tina. And um, what are you both up to today? We're out collecting money on this hospital bed. And I look really silly because I'm dressed up as Little Red Riding Hood. But it's all in a good cause. So, come on, Rudy. Your money or a great big wet floppy kiss. Oh, well, in that case, I suppose it better be my money, hasn't it? <laughs> there you go. And for you? Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. That's OK. So what have you got planned for Silly Day, then? Working. Working? Oh, yeah, old Rudy's got a lot of work to do today. Oh, Rudy, that's a shame. I know, we thought you of all people would be leading the way with the silliness. I know, but not today, unfortunately. Oh, well, if that's the case, Dr Juno, shall we? Oh, certainly, Miss Riding Hood. <laughs> Onward. Bye, Bye, Rudy. Bye. Oh, I hope Jack's not being quite as silly as those two today. for the city hospital. They're so silly, the pair of them. Mm. Are they now? Oh, what's wrong? Oh, it's just that I've got so much work to do. And people keep distracting you? Yes. Now it's my turn. I need some empty boxes. Chuck and I are making a cardboard car and doing a rendition of Flattery's motor car. Oh, OK, but, but not now. Party pooper. No, I am not a party pooper. Why do people keep on calling me a party pooper? Must be true. Party pooper. I'm not a party <laughs> pooper. Look, I'm busy at the moment. If you come back later, I'll get you the boxes myself. OK? OK. See you later then. Bye. Bye. Right. Now I can get down to some hard work. And doobie doobie doo. I make it look easy. What I doobie doobie doo. And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes it's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh, the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle The bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smell's all exotic Yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you And draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Emergency! Please give generously to the Harlequin Hospital Fund! Oh, come on, guys, seriously. I've got work to do and I've already given. No, no, we want to target your generous customers. Oh, but that's just too far. Silly day for the Harlequin Hospital. Whatever you can give would be great, thank you. Come on, guys, stop hassling the customers. All in a good cause, remember. All in a good cause. Thank you, bye. Thanks, that's great. What a nice lady. Yeah, and that was a customer I just lost. Oh, bye-bye. Chompy chop. <laughs> oh. oh, Jack, I hope you're having more fun than I am today. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Wow. Seesaw Marathon in aid of Silly Day. <laughs> it's for the Harlequin Hospital. Look at those funny people in their jammies. Going up and down. Oh, that is silly, isn't it? 
I wonder if your dad's been just as silly today. Do you think he is? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. <laughs> Are you silly, Dad? Hey, Rudy. Have you got those boxes for us? Oh, no. I forgot. Rudy. Oh, give me a hand. Okay. 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 gone too silly today and I haven't got time to be silly. I've been trying to work hard all day and everybody's just acting like they've gone daft and now there's boxes getting thrown about and oh, where did the time go? At seven o'clock I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. It's Harlequin Hospital's silly day today so Granny Murray and I did some silly walks while the children dressed Claude up as a silly nurse with a big red silly nose. Jack gave me a party tutor to take with me to work. A party tutor for a party pooper, Granny Murray said, though. At 8 o'clock, Doc Juno arrived, pushing Tina around on a hospital trolley. They were collecting for the hospital and both being very silly. At 10 o'clock, Louis came by to ask if I had any spare boxes. Chuck and Hera are going to raise money by making a cardboard car and doing a rendition of Flattery's motor car. I was too busy at the time to help and said I'd get them for her later on. At two o'clock, Doc Juno and Tina came zooming by again, but they got in the way of my customers. At three o'clock, Chuck and Louie came looking for the boxes I promised them, only I'd forgotten all about them. I just didn't have the time for any of this silliness today. Now remember, there's always time for fun. There's always time for fun, of course. Everybody's been acting silly for a good reason. Chuck, Louie, I am going to help you build that cardboard car. <laughs> Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Ta da! It's brilliant, Rudy. Thanks so much. Oh, that's okay. I'm just sorry I didn't help earlier. Oh, that's all right. Cool, man. Real cool. Okay, guys. Come on. Let's hit it. Oh, Flattery had a motor car, it always made a din. His mother said, that noisy jingle chuck it in the bin. So Flattery said, no more, the love that can't to me is For every sound and pop, it makes the music in my ears. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having fun today, Jack. <laughs> You're going high. <laughs> Are you having fun, Jack? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, we've had a great day, haven't we? Yeah. It's been fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out of puff here. I think we'll have to head back soon, eh? Yeah. Your daddy will be coming for you. We'll get out of these silly clothes. <laughs> Come on, we in. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah. We certainly did. Wrong. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, a pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There's always time for fun. And it saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Hey, come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, she. 
Reading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. Picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, fighting, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round. Dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a silly nurse because it was silly day today to help raise lots of money for Harlequin Hospital. We were all dressed up in silly clothes too. Then we went out to enjoy silly day with the rest of River Sea Fingal. Practically everyone was dressed up in their silly clothes or doing silly things. In the park we watched a seesaw marathon that had been going on since 7 o'clock this morning. Oh, it was very silly. In fact, I wonder if it's still going on just now. After that, we had lots of fun in the swings. Then we got back home just in time for Rudy to pick up Jack. Oh, we had a great day. I think Rudy had a great day too. And he remembered that there's always time for fun. Maybe I'll put my silly clothes back on tomorrow and have another silly day. <laughs> what do you think? Good idea? I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love you.